Good morning to all. Myself, Mrs. B. Revadi, working as Assistant Professor of BO Marine, ADM College for Women, Autonomous, Nagapatinam. Today we are going to discuss about food and feeding habits of fin fishes. First we have to know what is mean by food. Food is an important factor in the biology of fishes to the extent of governing their growth, feeding and migratory movements. The basic function of an organism is its growth, development and reproduction and it takes place at the expense of energy which enters the organism in the form of its food. Let me move on next topic. What is mean by feeding habits? Fishes feed on wide range of food materials and obtain their nourishment from plants as well as animals. Depending upon the number of different type of food items consumed by them. Fishes has been divided into two groups. First one is stenophagic. Stenophagic means feeding on few type of foods. Second one is urophagic. Urophagic means feeding on variety of food. Let me move on to another topic, fish food. What is mean by fish food? Fish food consists of various materials. Zooplankton. Zooplankton means protozoans, rotifers, Caladocera, crustaceans larvae, etc. Next one is phytoplanktons. Phytoplanktons means unicellular algae, filamentous algae, diatoms, etc. Next one is annelids worms. Next snails, mussels, insects, smaller fishes, tadpoles larvae, frogs, aquatic plants. Let us we see another topic. Fishes has been divided into four categories. First one is main food or basic food. Main food or basic food, the natural food taken and preferred by fishes in their natural habitat under the favorable conditions. Second one is secondary foods. Secondary foods consumed by the fish when available in plenty. Let me move on the third one is instantial food. Food enters the gut by chance along with others food items. Then another one is emergency or obligatory food. Taken by the fish in order to survive under unfavorable condition when basic food is not available. Let me move upon types of feeding habits. Major feeding habits, first one is predators, second one is grazers, strainers, strainers means filter feed is mechanism, fourth one is suckers, another one is parasite. Let us we see fishes that feed on macroscopic plants. They usually have well developed grasping and holding teeth. For example, great white shark of marine fishing. Let me move upon the structure of great white shark teeth structure. This is the example of predatory feeding habit of fishes. Let me move upon the another topic, morphology structure of great white Let us we see what is mean by predators. Predators. Predators mean fishes or fish that prey upon other fish or other animals. Some predators fish include perch, musky, pike, valley and salmon. Barracuts, pike, predators, gar, lepidosteus. Let us we see example of river fishing predatory fishes. Let me move upon grazers feeding habits. Grazers feeding habit in grazing the food is taken by the bites or continual browsing. They mainly feed on planktons or on bottom feeding habit organisms and feed in bottom or column feeders. Example, bluegill, parrot fishes, butterfly fishes. Other example, Sirinus mirgala, Cyprinus scorpio or Labio rogita. Let me move upon the examples of grazers feeding habit of fin fishes. This is the example of grazers feeding habit of fin fishes example. Let me move upon food and feeding habit of fish. Food and feeding habit of fish that means a large number of fishes feed on unicellular. A number of fishes feed on filamentous algae and portion of higher aquatic plants, rotifers, insects and their larvae, crustaceans, mud and sand. They are thus regarded as omnivorous in habit of fishes. Next one is fishes are the most fascinating and remarkable form of animal life in the world. They dominate the water of the world through a marvelous variety of morphological that means external characters another one is physiological that means internal characters or anatomy of cell fishes and behavioral adoptions the sources of fishes in terms of their diversity and number is to a large extent the measure of the success in finding adequate food sometimes in the most unlikely situations the magnitude of fishes stocks in a region is a function of its food potentialities let me move upon what these mean by life cycle of feeding habits of fin fishes. 
The first stage in the life cycle of a fish is completed at the expense of food reserves contained in yolk in the egg. These resources, however, sustain in only for a short period, which is subject to some variations depending on the quantity of yolk stored and conditions under which the eggs develop. After the completion utilization of the yolk, the egg fishes commences feeding from its habitat. Another one is during the process of development of the fish, changes takes place in its food which are connected with changes in the structure of the feeding and digestive organs. Let us we see example of food and feeding habits of carnivorous fishes. Example Rotifers, Artemia. Next one. During the process of development of the fish, changes takes place in it food which are connected with changes in the structure of their feeding and fooding, uh, fooding habit of digestive organs. After the complete utilization of the yolk, the young fishes commences feeding from its habitat. Let me move upon the characteristic of feeding habit of fishes. Fishes have become adapted to a wide variety of food. The importance of the knowledge of food and feeding habits of fish in understanding its fishery biology has been well established. Feeding is usually a part of the daily routine. Sometimes rate of feeding has a bearing on the spawning of the fish. The nature of food composition of fish will also through light on the possible habitats it frequents. Variation in the seasonal and diurnal abundance. Diurnal means nocturnal habit of fishes of the favorite food organisms of different species of fish in any region may influence the horizontal and vertical movements of the fin fishes. Let me move upon the another topic type of feeding habits. Freshwater fishes can be divided into four feeding habits. First one is herbivorous feeding habit. Second one is omnivorous feeding habit. Third one is carnivorous feeding habit. Another one is plankton feeders. Herbivorous fishes. What is mean by herbivorous fishes? A number of fresh fish feed mainly on unicellular algae, filamentous algae and portions of higher aquatic plants along with the, some sand or mud. Plant material of the food is 75 percentage or more of total gut content and hence consider herbivorous in habit. Let us we see omnivorous fishes. What is mean by omnivorous feeding habit of fishes? A large number of fishes feed on unicellular, filamentous algae and portion of higher aquatic plants, rotifers, insects and their larvae, crustaceans, mud and sand. They are thus regarded as omnivorous in habit. Third one is, let me move upon example of omnivorous feeding habit of fishes, shark species. Let us we see carnivorous fishes. Carnivorous feeding habit of fishes, a number of fishes feed on high percentage of animals such as crustaceans, pinnaeus, mainly copepods, water birds, beetles, larvae etc. Another one is plankton feeders. Last one type of feeding habit of fishes, plankton feeders. What is mean by plankton feeders? They feed on phytoplankton and zooplankton which they obtain by filtering the water through their gill rackers. Nicole Sky 1963 states that in the majority of fishes in the early stage of development when they feed on plankton, the hives and the organ of lateral line play the major part in orientation towards fishing habit of food. Let us we see omnivorous fishes. What is mean by omnivorous fishes? The fishes feed on both plants or animals. Examples of omnivorous fishes. First one is Katla Katla, Pantius Sarana, Pantius Sapphire, Pantius Javanicus, Cyprinus Scorpio, Colisa Faciatus, Hypothalmic Thymolticus, Silver Cop, that is called Silver Cop. It is example of omnivorous feeding habit of fishes. Next one is Taste transaction of marine fishes in feeding habit of fishes. Let me move on the another topic. Specialized food habitat of fin fishes. Some fishes take only one type of food or referred to as insectivorous. Next one is larvivorous, molluscan foods, crustacean feeder and piscivorous. Piscivorous means feed on fishes. Let us we see deduction of food. Deduction of food of Feeding habit of fishes. 
For reduction of food, following organs are involved. First one is photosensory organ. Second one is gustatory organs. Third one is mechanosensory organ. Last one is electroreceptor organs. Photosensory organ means like high used for visual cues for locating and capturing food. Gustatory organs means are used for searching of food. Third one is mechanosensory organ and fourth one is electroreceptor organs. Electroreceptor organs are used for electromagnetic waves. Let us we see elaboration of gustatory organs. Gustatory organs are commonly called as taste buds. Gustatory organs situated on the lips, barbels, pharynx and gill arches help in the fish in selecting the suitable food. The gustatory sense of fishes is associated with distinct cranial nerves, all of which are projected to different areas of brine, 7th, 9th and 10th cranial nerves of brine of fishes. Taste buds that snaps with cranial nerve, 7th are important in appetite. Appetite means food search feeding activity. Then taste buds that snaps with 9th and 10th cranial nerves are important in consummatory Consumptory means ingestive and swelling of feeding behavior. Thank you.